I'm a blossom. I don't need a bad man to my rabbit. I'm official on a dolly. You can hear the vroom vroom in my rabbit. I'm not sorry. No, I'm not sorry. Cause they're older. That it gets easier. We're trying to get them to go someplace. It doesn't. It's picture day, y'all. And it's 8.01. Julian's already off to school. Izzy is awake. He's my person that just rolls out of bed just because he just he's just one of those people that just can get awake. He can get awake, okay? Jordan and Max are the people that just, they're not morning people. Mornings happen to them. They don't happen to mornings, okay? And this is going to be my second time heating up my tea. I got to get everybody dressed, specifically the twins. I have to help them do their hair, make sure they look good for the, for the pic today. You know, I talk about lay their eyebrows down, lay their edges down. And lay, lay my edges down, baby, because right now I'm looking like a thumb. I'm drinking chamomile and hibiscus tea. It's great to calm you and for like inflammation, high blood pressure, high pressure, all that stuff. You want to start your day off like you smoke the joint, honey. Just drink this because it's drug abuse resistance education over here, baby. Okay, I don't drink alcohol and I don't indulge in any other uh what do you call it what do you call it um passivities passive time um yeah you know what i'm trying to say girl i'll smoke no weed i need to be dressed to impress or at least dressed father god in the name of jesus by the time it's time to get out of this door for these kids who aren't awake and it's 806 okay um because i just got my first rental property that i am going to be a property manager of you guys and i am so freaking excited let's go ahead take a look it's in a book it's valencia's listing i like this we're at the beach right now looking at a property potentially doing um some property management for the property this is a three bedroom you said three bedroom one bath okay this is very nice and it's located next to an a school she's done everything she's gutted the house out she's going to do some some yard work but she's re renovated the whole entire space and place and it is in walking distance of the beach the backyard is still it, your backyard is huge Okay, let me go. It's, it's, it's not blue, but it's that black. That thing looks blue. It looks blue. Oh, I see how you're saying. Um, no, I love what you've done. All this. Yeah. You've done. Look at the, look you've done an cabinet. excellent job. I love the cabinet. This is the side door. So you come up through your driveway, and then the side door. There's a nice little kitchen. It's like a nice little beach bungalow. I love the cabinets y'all okay nice little place you could probably put like a little table for eating kitchen little nook area i believe you living room i feel like it's a nice size home especially for out of the beach you're not really going to be inside you're going to be outside you're going to be riding your bike to the beach you're just going to be everywhere you got to be inside too like you know it's really cute okay i love the floors see here Okay, the bathroom. Small closets, but that's okay. Yeah, it's an older home, small closets, that's okay. So this bedroom is larger. That first bedroom that we saw was a lot smaller, but this one is a lot larger. If you guys want the dimensions and are interested in renting this property, please let me know because this is gonna go fast once it hits the market she only has to do a couple of things in here this is going to be the primary bedroom and this one is even bigger than the secondary bedroom with two windows and a closet and this one also has two windows and a closet i would say this will be for like a you know an either an office or maybe your kids room you know a, a smaller child or whatever but it's still a nice sized room um the only thing is this is just a one bathroom, so you kind of have to deal with that. But, I mean, still, it's great. 
she girl, that's what that is. girl, stop it. Hold on, close it yeah. and open it back up. <laughs> that's mm -hmm. what that is. That's what that took all the space. And he okay. didn't open it back up. Mm. The, the wow. Stuff, you know, you I know it looks like a shack, shimmy rack, shackle for right now. I know you probably saying, oh, what's that? See, that's why your mind is where your mind is at because you can't see the potential in property. Location, location, location. I need to tell y'all how to sell some ugly houses and how to do some things to make some change. Legally, we're not talking about hoeing, okay? Hoeing is for garden tools. Now, the property isn't quite completed yet. There's a whole lot of things that have to be done. So the property has been completely gutted. It's not going to be ready until like the next 30 days, maybe two months. But I, I, we're pushing for 30 days. The outside, exterior, the landscaping, the countertops, which is what we're going to do today. We're going to go pick out some countertops and see which ones that are going to be chosen, whether it's going to be a granite or a corian. Corian has a tendency to be a little bit more delicate, I say. That's what, that's what we're going to call it, delicate. I say cheap. Um... And granite is just one of those materials that just lives long and prospers, okay? Spock. location which was like in like an industrial district of Jacksonville um, walk through there and she's gonna go back out and look at some of the granite that I suggested it's in between two choices one that has a little bit more marbleization in it and one that just has more speckling in it and then a sink has to be chosen paint for the outside still has to be chosen and oh look at the tub there's already a tub ooh. Next word on the list. What did that say? Restaurant. Restaurant. Honey, I gotta come home and be a teacher. Shout out to all the mamas out there who gotta come home and be a teacher. The only thing you feel like teaching yourself is how to go to bed and not be on Instagram scrolling until 3 a.m. in the morning, Googling how tall was Jesus, okay? So now I'm just gonna have him check his words, see what he got wrong, and then spell the word correctly next to the word that he spelled wrong. And then in 30 minutes, we'll take another one to see what he retained. Then he'll have a brain break. That way he gets familiar with the words. I don't know what my teenager is over there doing. No more. Allegedly. Damn. Allegedly. Julian, you ready to learn how to drive? No. You should. No. How are you gonna get to and fro? Walk, exercise, 
You gonna walk everywhere? Yeah. Boy, your feet gonna fall off. We live in Jacksonville, Florida. No, that's fine. I don't care. This ain't New York. They can fall off if they want to. Oh no, you need your feet. Mm, I bind that up in the mighty name of Jesus. Send that back to dry walking places, baby. You need your feet. Disappointing yourself. <sighs> this part of the day is literally known as halftime for me, okay? Or second shift. That's what I like to call it. I'm convincing everybody to get their dirty bodies into the shower, okay? Do their homework, because nobody wants to be around a failure. And eat your food. Because food is expensive. Yes. And food also, expensive. Jesus loves you and I love you. I brush your teeth. Night, night, yes. tight. Yes. <laughs> and yes. it's just, you know, you really need the strength, okay? You need the strength. I've got my second cup of calming. Oh, well, this one doesn't have chamomile in it. It's just tea. hibiscus tea. I have a parakeet. I have Jiminy Cricket himself. Hey. <laughs> the what? feel like cooking but i'm gonna cook just because the price of food is just astronomical these days i feel like it's cheaper to eat like horrible food like fast food than it is to actually go to the grocery store but i've been like using the leftovers from certain meals to make the next meal like i made spaghetti and i made a bunch of spaghetti noodles so instead of having to create a whole new meal i just got some chicken tenders from the store i already have butter lemons basil and seasoning i'm just gonna make some scampi Today, my kids are half Italian. They love the noodles, okay? I'm not eating the noodles. They can eat them noodles. I don't eat, I don't need to see another noodle in, <laughs> until 20, 30, baby, okay? Oh. Sorry, I cannot use my back. And see, that is why... My immune system is built the way it is. I'm sorry, y'all can't come over because if you gonna come, if you gonna come over, I'm just like you know you go, you you gonna get sick, okay? Because the way that these kids be <laughs> and digging and scratching and itching, baby, you have to have the strongest immune system to go over somebody's home who has children. There should be a disclaimer that if you are not around children all the time and you go over to somebody's house who has children, there should be a disclaimer to say, baby, I will not be responsible if you come up with the big book of boo-boos of uh, itchy throat atosis in the next couple of days, okay? Because you're going you gonna to get it. But your immune system will be better for it. I'm just saying. Hi. I love you, Izzy. I love you too. And I, I don't care how clean you are. Your, your children are a walking Petri dish. Okay? What's that? Germs. If y'all could see that my son is like hovering over me right now. While I try and bread the chicken with one hand and hold the camera with another hand. No, don't touch my camera. Don't touch my camera. Out. It, is this coated? Oh yeah, it's coated. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, oh, we could fit one more. One more. I know they say don't crowd the pan, but I'm an expert. Y'all know what my kids doing in the background, right? I don't want to call it fighting, but they're battling. Your hands stand, child. What's this? This all the basil we got? Okay, I got some basil, some parsley, some onions, some butter, some garlic. Um, give me some salt. Put it in my hand, sir. Sir, Aaron Burns, sir. Something, 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 sir. Boy, we seasoning it up. We ain't trying to. Uh-uh, a little bit more. Okay, that's good. Lemon. Lemon. Yes, you need to drink so 
some water, Maximus. I drank four cups already. Drink some more. On tonight's menu, we've got some zucchini and squash that's been sauteed. Um, a scampi with chicken on it because who got money for shrimp right now, okay? I'm just saying. And Julian don't eat shrimp. And then some leftover meatballs from the previous dinner. You want to do what? Yeah, I do. But what, what, what we got to do first, son? Install the G. Yes. Okay. Get good. You want to get this <laughs> fist? You better say grace. Twins. I'll say. One. Or I'm going to make Izzy pray. No. Listen, I'm always going to put the disclaimer there just because there's always going to be somebody who's like, ah, I didn't come here for that. Well, yes, you did because you saw this disclaimer. And I done said this is a mom car chat where chats will be had. Okay, and we have a chat right now. Go ahead, go get your imaginary Newport cigarette because we really don't smoke like that. And go ahead and pour yourself an imaginary glass of vodka because we really don't drink like that. Girl, go ahead, and, go ahead and take the shot. Okay, because this is about to be real strong. But I just got to say this. Ever since I've been like, you know, getting on here and just not telling my truth, but just being a real single mother out here, single momming it, where you have your good days and you have your bad days and you have your days that just be daying on day and on top of days and you be wondering how you making it, but you making it, Father God. Yeah. Y'all have really been supporting your bestie and I really appreciate that because I just never know how it's going to go when you really start just living your life for you you know what i'm saying so i appreciate y'all it's just a like i said i'm in a different headspace right now where um years and years ago i was just trying to just make it as a as a mom like when i first went through my divorce y'all my babies were babies my twins were one my middle child was three and my oldest was six and I was essentially abandoned and I had to do what I had to do and I was broken and I was afraid and I just had no self-esteem to stand up for myself like looking back on things I can definitely see the fear and it was like okay he's left me for someone who seems to have their things together I didn't have my shit together because I put all of my shit into him going in into the military and me being a military wife. And I had a job in a pharmacy, but then I got pregnant with twins and I couldn't do pharmacy school because then I was going through a divorce, which financially drained me. And then after that, a custody battle. And then it was like more fear because these two people together make more money than me. Like, what am I? It was just such a low self-esteem moment where I just didn't feel good enough and even though I knew they were lying about 99.9% .9 of the stuff that they were saying it was like you know that's the point of a liar is to make you lose focus and to make you look like you're crazy to everybody and liars with money are the worst ones because with their powers combined they are captain liars okay just saying and you're able to move around more and financially abuse people okay I'm just saying but karma like I said karma is a hell of a thing okay money can only go so long and save you so much until until and I know I have um a lot more new subscribers and you probably don't know where the story begins ends and starts but I just gotta say this Risa, Tisa, Tessa, whatever her name is, how you doing, girl? Ain't got nothing on me, okay? And I'm not trying to compare pain versus pain, because pain is pain, okay? Hurt is hurt, but I'm just saying, damn, I went through a lot. I went through a lot, an unbelievable story, so much so, I believe that Tyler Perry could 
write my story, okay? And, and have some actors. Regina King. I would love Regina King to play me, okay? Um, with, with the good wigs, though, Tyler. The good wigs. And tell my story. And I would open the scene like this. In a hospital. Labor and delivery. Legs cocked wide open. In the stirrups, child. You know what I'm talking about? Where they put your feet up. Right leg. Left leg. Okay? I'm looking over my belly. The doctor's head pops up and says, Ma'am, you're fully dilated. Still press. Not pressing. My mama is on one side pleading the mighty blood of Jesus. I got a phone in my hand telling my baby daddy to go to hell, Jamie. I don't want you no more. Leave me alone. Because he ain't there. He's 600 miles away in Virginia, laid up in a bed, in my bed, with another woman, effing out of both legs, missing the birth of his children. And scene. Cuts to the next scene. The doctor says, Ma'am, you're having twins. We were able to deliver the first baby, but second baby isn't doing so well. And in order to save your life and second baby's life, we have to do an emergency cesarean, which I felt every single bit of. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I went, I went, I went through a lot. I, I went through a lot. All for that man to show up at this very same house standing outside like he in the the, the the group Jodeci with no Jodeci. Talk about, please come home, Tank. Please come home. And like a dummy, I went back all for him to do it again and leave me for another woman. When actually, it was that John Legend song, All of Me Loves All of You. Yeah, he was outside singing that. Talk about, I love you. I'm a change. I want to go to church. I want to go to counseling. I, I'm a change. I, I'll never do it again. Well, sir, I'll never push out another baby for you again so you can leave me on my deathbed. <laughs> I'll never be put in that position again. And I told that man I ain't want to go back home with him because I said, it'll never be right. I, I'm, I'm never going to look at you the same. Please, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care if you're mad at me forever. Then when I get back home, you mad at me because I'm mad at you. But you said you didn't have a problem with it. But really, what it was, the reason why he really wanted me to come home and needed me to come home because it's always a reason why the house of Slytherin slithers. The house of Lord Voldemort, Voldemort. He didn't want to get kicked out of the military because his commander was calling me, asking me, saying, Miss Caggiano, when are you coming home? I'm just doing a welfare check. I think it's really strange that you're all the way there and he's here and you don't have any intentions of going home. Like, what's, go what's going on? Like, something in the milk wasn't clean for his superior to call me and ask me these invasive questions because he was going to have to get out of the house because we lived on post and he would have lost his housing rights, whatever, and some his stipend would have changed all of that, you know, for all of that stuff, he would have had to move back into, he would have had to move back into the barracks. And that was a conversation. There's so much that I cannot fit into this video. That's why I say, baby, I should have been wrote the book on this one and cleaned up and collected my mother effing coins and rode off into the sunset with my kids but it's never too late it is never too late for whatever reason god has given me my season god is giving me um the unfear okay and the peace and the and and the ability to say you're a god's time now <laughs>
I think he realizes that he's on God's side because it's been real quiet over there on the dark side of the moon. Those Decepticons are scrambling and recalibrating as we speak and trying to spin this story. I guarantee it. But what I do want since the, the fakery is over and it's out there, but I've been through this even before he told me because child, my kids told me how much them people fight inside their home baby like they come back and be like oh, all they do is fight all they do is argue da, 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 da. like are you gonna help me raise my son are you gonna help are you gonna help me raise my kid or am i gonna be a single mother too <laughs> <laughs> yes you are prepare yourself Best friend, I just got a phone call from God. He said, humble yourself, friend. You laughing too hard. So I need your thoughts. I'ma stay ten toes down. Look how I rose from the ground. And none of these hoes only can take it. See me poppin', I'ma blossom. I don't need a bop man to my robin'. I'ma fish you on a dotty. You can hit a room, room in my robbery. I'm not sorry. No, I'm not sorry. It's official. I'm a problem. I don't mean it this far. I'm not sorry.